In example two, we have a subtraction. It works the same way as an addition, with one slight little difference, which I will show you. The first thing we do is we factor. None of these three are factorable, but a squared minus b squared is a difference of squares. It gives us a minus b, a plus b. Now, what is our common denominator going to be? Our common denominator will be this, a minus b, a plus b, which includes this and also includes the a plus b. So I'll write that in now. The first fraction is already over the common denominator, so it doesn't change. The second fraction, both top and bottom have to be multiplied by a minus b in order to create the equivalent fraction. Now, at the point where we combine our numerators into a single numerator, we have to be careful because this is a minus sign. 2a minus a minus b looks like this. I use the bracket to show what's happening. This means 2a minus a plus b. The common denominator is still there. Now we simplify. 2a minus a is a, so the numerator becomes a plus b. The denominator is still the common, a minus b, a plus b. Can we cancel? Yes, we have a cancelling opportunity. a plus b cancels with a plus b. Our answer is 1 over a minus b. The only difference between the addition and the subtraction is during this polynomial phase, you have to be careful with your sign. I like to do off to the side like this, I like to show the subtraction with the bracket to make sure that I get the signs right in my new numerator. In example 3, we're subtracting a whole number, 1, from an algebraic fraction. How do we do this? Well, the first step is the same, factor completely. This is a simple trinomial. What two numbers multiply to get negative 2 and add to get negative 1? They are negative 2 and 1. So we have a minus 2 a plus 1. The bottom is also a simple trinomial. What two numbers multiply to give 1 and add to give 2? They are 1 and 1. So we have a plus 1, a plus 1. Now, if we have an opportunity, we try to simplify the algebraic fraction before we bother with the subtraction. We have both a plus 1 on the bottom and the top, so we can cross them out. And we're left with a minus 2 over a plus 1 minus 1. Now it's time for our common denominator. We know that any number can be converted into a fraction by putting it over 1. We also know that 1 is equal to 8 over 8, 6 over 6. 1 is equal to anything over the same anything. We need a plus 1 as our lowest common denominator, so we will do that by converting 1 into a plus 1 over a plus 1. I'll do that up here. Reminder, a plus 1 over a plus 1 is equivalent to 1. Now we have a common denominator, and it's just like any other adding or subtracting of algebraic fractions. The polynomial phase, I will write a minus 2 minus, and then use a bracket and put a plus 1 in it so that I can be careful because of this minus sign to make sure I get all of my signs correct. This becomes a minus 2 minus a minus 1, and we still have the common denominator a plus 1. a minus a cancels. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. We have negative 3 over a plus 1. 
And that is our answer.